Catalina Island for a night for a day just an hour away on Catalina Express. Escape today. Call 877-4-ISLAND or log on to CatalinaExpress.com. Catalina Express. Catalina. It started small like many big things do. When Tom Rutter and Greg Bombard on, Greg, started Catalina Channel Express with one boat and one phone. That phone seems awful quiet. It'll ring when you guys start bringing in more customers. Three of us, my father, myself, and Tom Rutter, who's been a close friend for all my life. We got together, we talked about it, we decided on what we thought we could start out with, what kind of uh, availability to boats there was out there, and that's when we went up and, and found a used vessel and reconfigured that vessel into a 60-passenger, what was considered back in the early 80s as high speed, meaning about 20 knots. And we were able to re redo that vessel and make it very comfortable for 60 passengers to be able to run it semi-high speed today, but uh, at least an hour and a half trip between uh, the mainland and Catalina Island. You know, I, I remember the first day that Catalina Express came into Avalon Bay. And I was standing at the top of the ramp and in comes this little 49 passenger boat and it's trying to pull up to the dock next to a 750 passenger boat. Well in the beginning we thought it was a great idea, other people thought we were crazy. And I, I looked at that thing coming in and I said to myself there is just no way this is going to make it. And it was also very clean and the airline style seating was well adapted. I mean the people I think enjoyed that to have a personal seat to be able to sit back, relax, Give them that airline atmosphere, uh, give them the cabin attendants on board. Greg Bombard, do I know him? Have I ever met him? Catalina Express? What is that? Is that like an airlines or trains or what do they do? Seriously, uh, it's a pleasure and an honor to be able to share a few words about Greg Bombard and the entire team at Catalina Express. Today we're here to celebrate the fact that they are the entrepreneurs of the year. We're here to congratulate them to say thank you. They always do such a great job. But I think the most important thing to me has always been the fact that they are one of the most outstanding corporate citizens that I know. And obviously, most recently, the fires. Uh, a potential disaster of magnitude that we haven't seen in that island. But who is there to, at their own expense, to move people off the island? Who is there to allow us to do our emergency operations here in Long Beach? But Greg Bombard, the Catalina Express team, we thank them for not only their entrepreneurship, but their citizenship. Well, I guess I'm one of those lucky people. I grew up on an island, born on an island, Catalina Island, raised on Catalina Island. Uh, my grandfather went to Catalina in 1919, his first trip. Liked it so much that he came back and moved onto the island in 1920. And then in 1921, started up a high-speed boat, uh, kind of a thrill ride, to go out and take people. They built two boats at a time. They had a number Miss Catalina 1 and 2 when they first started back then and they'd take people off the beach side and go out and meet the Catalina steamer when it's coming in. So it was kind of a, a fun deal. They'd go out and play in the wake, go out see what they could see in water life out there, but just do a thrill ride, take people for a speedboat ride. He always wanted to have fun with people and that's really what we've continued down the road. My father was involved in that business with him all the way along until 1957. So they sold off that piece of business. My dad gathered up the family, went to work for the Santa Catalina Island Company as the manager of Two Harbors, also known as the Isthmus of Two Harbors. It was a pretty exciting time for us. Although I was seven years old, I remember the days of being able to sit at Two Harbors and watch him grow a business. It later turned to a position where he had the lease on that whole area and he was running it for himself. That made it really exciting to be able to grow up in that kind of an atmosphere to understand what it takes to put a business together. And it's a lot of hard work, it's a lot of dedication, and luckily for me, I, I got to be a part of that along with him. So as far as the, this channel, Catalina Channel, between the mainland and, and Catalina Island, that's our backyard. We've played in it for years. We've been playing in it since 1920. So I think that spirit has followed along, and I'm just having a lot of fun with it. I mean, how many people are as lucky as I am to be able to do what you really love in life? And when you do those kind of things, you gather people around you as team members, and they get that spirit within them. I've certainly been very fortunate that the people that I've come across and who have joined me in this business have that spirit and the dedication 
to continue to have fun with people out here on the water. I mean, it's, it's a lot of fun. This plays right along with our mission statement that we put together some 15 years ago. Leading the way in marine transportation, we are committed to offering the most advanced, state-of-the-art watercraft, while maintaining dedication to safety, customer satisfaction, and quality to service. I think the exciting part about Catalina Express is it's something that uh, we knew that there was a need for and availability to move people quickly across the water. We knew that the technologies were there. Oh, you're here, good. Well, I was just looking at this view behind me, this magnificent view of the city of Long Beach. And I must tell you that the Entrepreneur of the Year helped make this happen. I think that Catalina Express has been such a strong part of our city for a long time. But when I was first mayor in the middle 90s, Greg Bombard and his dad, Doug, had enough vision for the city of Long Beach to invest in numerous new ships, having this wonderful Catalina Island, knowing the potential of the city of Long Beach, and it's made it a destination. Over 20 years ago, Greg Bombard and I became friends. 10 years ago, we decided that there was a vision for Queensway Bay. We wanted to have some type of water taxi service that would serve the aquarium in downtown Long Beach. That became Aquabus. Six years ago, our vision to have Alameda's Bay Landing and downtown hooked together became Aqualink. Our two organizations, Catalina Express and Long Beach Transit, are a great fit. Our people work together, uh, never a problem, never an issue, and it's been a wonderful adventure for us, a public-private partnership that could not be any more spectacular. We get to take on new technologies or stretch new technologies to where we want to go with them and build exciting boats, pretty boats. The ones that are exciting for people to look at, even sitting at the dock. The kind that you really want to be a part of. An exciting ride, the speed and the ride control, along with customer service and seat service, meaning we have somebody who comes to the seat where they get to just sit back, relax, enjoy their day, enjoy their ride, and hopefully when they go home, they want to tell everybody else. The work that uh, Greg Bombard and Catalina Express have been doing in safety and security in the Los Angeles Long Beach area and between here and uh, Catalina has just been tremendous. The care that he shows for his passengers, both in their safety making sure that his vessels are safe and they're secure and the partnership that he's worked with the Coast Guard and other local uh, agencies to make sure that uh, no uh, harm comes of his passengers has just been wonderful. Today this company now has eight high-speed vessels, four big monohulls that are over 100 feet long, four big catamarans that are well over 140 feet long that are able to operate at speeds of up to 40 knots and four engines on board. Um, 450 employees in the peak of our season. Every one of them very dedicated to our mission. Greg personifies the entrepreneurial and civic spirit and provides a great service with Catalina Express. This fast, comfortable, state-of-the-art service provides a vital link between Long Beach and Catalina. Greg's help with the evacuation of Avalon during last year's fires personified his civic spirit. And, and again, no one asked him to do that. They recognized that they are the lifeline to this island and we had a problem and they needed to be there to help those that wanted to leave get out. In 1999, we carried our 10 millionth passenger. This year, we'll carry our 20 millionth passenger. We've got a great playground here and we enjoy it. In fact, I met my wife, Lori, on board the vessel from Catalina back to the mainland the first summer of our operation in 1981. She's helped me through the business, helped me be able to deal with the business while growing a family. We have a, a great son, Eric, and we have a lovely daughter, Amanda, and she's a big part of why they are what they are. And when I can't be there, she's there all the time. So what more could you ask for? A great lady, a great business, and a lot of fun in between. Santa Catalina, the eye.